The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <coughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <coughs> Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but a rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Have any of the patients given you trouble? These poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. Pardon my boldness, Your Ladyship, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first... Prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you, a kindred spirit? Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient, or their family. If we're dealing with an ordinary criminal, surely you've the means to deal with it yourself, if I may. As immortal tradition doth dictate, all fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze, the blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. Violence has a tendency to spiral out of control. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. 
My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Feeding off of people who are about to die wouldn't be... The worst thing in the world, it's kind of like one of the out of the misery. Feeding at the same time, though. Euthanasia. Sick these nurses, bred with no respect. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Doctor Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? I'm better than Dr. Swansea. Please, calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent Slit a poor sod's vein. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. You seem to know more about the goings on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. <laughs> Small bag of junk. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Two are out here. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Oh my god, How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. 
Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but how do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. Go back. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Speak up, woman! Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Ooh, to bits. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No, I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. No. Oh. Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippett's does not think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Last one. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Do you require medical assistance, Nurse? Thank you for your concern, but I'm fine. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Dorothy Crane. Dear disgust on every street corner. Hawkins, Hawkins, Hawkins. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. There it is. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Dr. Crane was lost outside over here. There's an indicator going the complete opposite way. Gotta find this rat. Gotta find him. Maybe she is upstairs now? Door's locked. Are you? Uh oh. Good evening, Mr. Cox. Dr. Reed! Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. This is the guy that I saved. 
Do you ever think about that poor fellow I saw you push in the water? The wound he gave me will make sure I don't forget him. Still fucking hurts. Boss had cut me good. That man was determined to murder you. You almost died. What a surprise. The first time I met him, he nearly shit himself. Fucking coward. Oh, I guess revenge gives you balls. What did he want? Revenge? I recently had to kill his brother. Poor asshole thought it would be easy to return the favor. Why'd you kill his brother? Only the strongest survive, then. Survival at all costs. Is that all you think about? I'm the toughest bastard you'll ever meet, Dr. Reed. And I don't give a fuck what you think of me. How is your hospitalization going, Mr. Cox? This is a shitty place with shitty staff. But as long as I'm treated all right, I'll be fine. What's wrong with the Pembroke staff? That bastard you sent to bring me here, Milton. I thought he was going to break all my bones before I reached my bed. I see. Any other smart comments? The nurses aren't too ugly. Especially that foxy one, Nurse Crane. Pretty brunette, tough attitude, or oh, like that. What's wrong with the hospital? Come on, Dr. Reed. The place is a dump. Smelly, sad, and dirty. But you're alive thanks to the efforts and dedication of the staff here, aren't you? What are you expecting, a medal? I thought that saving lives was just part of the job. Must be an unsatisfactory profession at this time, I'm sure. This guy's a dick. Maybe I should eat him. How long do you think you can escape the law, Clay? I know this city like the back of my hand, Doc. I know its streets, who to pay, who to avoid, and who to bully. I won't get caught. We can't escape the consequences of our actions. The past catches up with us in the end. I ain't afraid of death. I don't hide who I am. I live my life honestly, which is more than I could say for most folks. And who are you then? I'm the leader of the Wet Boot Boys. One day I'll leave this shitty place and punch in the face all who thought I would not come back. What? Wes, have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in the hospital? Blackmail? That's not my style. Too risky. The black market, though. Now that's where the money is. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Oh, she's back at the river. Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but. Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm Oswald's best friend. We served in the same regiment, sir. We've taken care of each other since we came back from the front. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Oswald Thatcher. We survived the war together. Oswald is... nervous and quite fragile since we came back from the war. This is a dangerous part of town. What are you doing here? We were looking for the Pembroke Hospital. He... We both need help. Tr treatment, I mean. To get some sleep. Just need to feel better, sir. Where was your friend the last time you saw him? He went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. I think he went to the sewers on purpose. So I couldn't go after him. 
I have all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Can I go through here now? No. So there's Dorothy. How do I go down there? Oh, I can eavesdrop. Don't worry, we're safe. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals or doctors. Well then. When you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. Where'd that gate come from? Like how she just disappeared. To the sewers we go! Even the sewers are healthy in here. Dang. He's locked the door behind him. I need to find another way to follow him. I hear Oswald. Oh, shit. Someone just got straight murdered and eaten. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. I'll lock it from this side. Shortcut. One at a time. Oswald, I hear you, son. Barb Kugel. I have no idea what that is. Okay, I hear you, man. You can't breathe. I'm coming. Material kid. Oswald, I presume. 
Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here! I need to get out! I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out! Mr. Thatcher, your friend Newton sent me to help you. Do you remember him? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Or I could just eat him. Are you sure you're all right, sir? Yes. I don't want to talk to you. I want you to get out of my way so I can open this chest. There it is. Okay, it says I succeeded, so if you don't move, that's on you. So many mats. The Shogu shell. I haven't used the shotgun yet. Oh my god. Wow, dude. Instead of... <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> so stunning I may eat the rat instead. That switcheroo though. Core me out of there. Be well. Swap out the guns here. Blunda Basta. Can't miss when you're this close. Aluminum, um, no. Came down from there. What is this way? I've all turned around here. Came through here. Here. Missed this box. Through here. Oh yeah, then I had a choice to kill this guy, but did not take it. Level 7. Level 7 this. <laughs> I think I'll go with the stake still. Okay, backtrack, got all the things. 1500 EXP to boot. Down we'll go. Where'd that thug at? Thug's a vampire. Sewer beast. Whoa! What sort of creature is this? Oh my god! It's a werewolf! Uh, too much. Oh no! Um, probably not. Wow, you whiffed it. Bite you. Mow down. Oh, 
I feel like it's gonna be like a battle of attrition. I should get him on his third stage or the like the fighter. Ow. So when I need to regenerate, it's available. Down. The cooldown is strong. Then, then. Oh, it's hard, dude. Oh. Once in a while, I got to throw an attack here.